guys, it's Andrea Vial. I'm a personal trainer, group exercise instructor. We're here at Test Sports Club. I'm going to take you through a little bit of a workout um, just to give you some tips and what works for me. Hopefully it'll work for you too. Um, before we get to the workout, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of motivational kind of speaking. Um, I heard this phrase a lot this week. People say to me, I'm gonna. And I remember when I used to use that phrase a lot, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna exercise, I'm gonna diet. What I found out is that by me saying I'm gonna, it gave myself permission to not do it. So when people approach me with that, I know that they're not ready and not committed. Is working out hard? Yes. Does it hurt? Yes. Is it worth it going through the pain? I absolutely think it's worth going through the pain because I know if I go through the pain today, I'm gonna wake up stronger tomorrow. You're gonna see me work out with a couple of trainers here at TEST. It's important that everybody have a support system and I'm very lucky that I get supported here where I work. So I'm ready to work out and I hope that this flips the switch for some of you and that you'll start to work out too. Let's hit the gym and get some. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'll normally work out and warm up on the elliptical, but today, since I really need to target my core for competition, I'm gonna start off with abs, and I'm gonna give you one of my favorite, favorite, favorite tools to train abs on, and that's the BOSU. Um, I use it with many, many other pieces of equipment, stability balls and stuff like that. Right now, because um, my body is still cool, what I'm gonna start off with is a standard crunch. So my lower back is on the BOSU, and when I come back, I like to be at this angle with my shoulders off, so when I crunch up, I'm getting full blown out. Now, with this, for beginners, you really wanna focus on pulling your belly button in and down and squeezing your abs as tight as you can. They're your foundation, they're the concrete blocks that kind of hold your house up. So after you do three sets of 12 to 15, you can switch to an oblique move on here. And normally I tell my clients, one hand's on your thigh, hand back, you're gonna come up and across, all within your own range of motion. It's nice and easy, nice and controlled. So where you should feel that is right here in your side. Doing oblique work really helped me make my waist nice and tiny. I normally don't use weights when I do obliques, although I do train with weights for abdominal exercise. I try not to do it more than once a week. And then you're just gonna switch arms, bring it in. You, the hands on the thigh normally just helps with control and range of motion. If you wanted to make it harder, of course, you could take your hands off or you can add a full trunk rotation on that. It's whatever works for you because it's about what you can do and the more you do do, the more you will be able to do. So if that was kind of my warm up, how I would make this harder, is by adding instability. At this point, it's a medicine ball, so you'll see I'm rocking a little bit, so I really have to focus and pull in on my core. My neck is nice and relaxed. I'm not pulling on my head. What I tell my clients is thumbs on your shoulders, fingertips supporting your head, chin up, and you're just gonna lift to within your range of motion. So I get a nice deep contraction if I come all the way up. And that medicine ball adds just enough instability that I really work my lower abdominals. I like to warm up with abs. If I don't hit cardio first, I just find it a nice way to get my body kind of started. It gives me time to focus. Now you'll see I'm kind of winging my arms in. It's just knee to elbow. It's just what I like to do. Again, you do what works for you. So this is what I'm gonna do, guys. Everybody always comments 
on my arms and mostly it's good genetics just now. But there's also a lot of work that goes into my arms as well as, you know, full body. So I'm gonna warm up my arms right now with just a standard bicep curl. It's normally feet hip width apart. I'm using 12.5 weights, which is a moderate weight for me. I'm gonna switch to a heavier weight in a little while. But if you find that when you're curling the weight, you're hitching forward, your hips are sending forward, you're using momentum to curl, what you're gonna do is just kinda turn your heels in a little bit. That's gonna activate your inner thigh and help you get more stability. So I'm just gonna hit 10 nice solid reps to warm my biceps up. And then I'm gonna go right back into core stability exercises and I'm just gonna stand on the BOSU and I'm gonna do my next two sets. So what I'm actually doing is pre-fatiguing the muscle before I get my workout. Two more. And last time. So. So I'm just gonna plant on the BOSU. And if you have a balance issue, this is an awesome tool for you. So I'm gonna plant, and I'm gonna pull my abs in as tight as I can, that prevents the rocking. Chest up, shoulders back, no leaning. You're just gonna bring those bells up. Nice, simple curl. So I'm focused, I'm concentrating on the muscle group that I'm working. My hips are engaged, my abs are engaged. It's all good stuff, guys. Part of my training is I do lift heavy every now and again. And when you lift heavy, guys, please make sure that you have somebody working with you. It's always important because this person will push you, but they will also help you. So, Eddie's gonna hand me the bar. Eddie, how much does the bar weigh? 45 pounds. 45 pounds. So, I'm gonna take it from him. I'm gonna adjust my grip. Slight bend in my knees. Abs are in. I'm gonna go for a four rep. Curl. Core is engaged, nice and tight. These are tough. So I threw in one more for good measure because I want to press that. So now I'm going to drop the bar and I'm going to go to a different kind of technique. And that's attaching a band onto your belt. And the only thing that that does is it just adds a different amount of resistance, which I'm getting right now. My biceps are starting to get a little fatigued. So I'm gonna finish off that curl with this move, making sure to work both arms. And make sure that you step on the band in the same place because you want to train that muscle evenly. Bakeries, one of the trainers here at Test. Mike is going to help me with another ab exercise. He's going to throw me the medicine ball while I'm in a V-set. And he's not going to break my nails. 